We are just 70 miles down the road from Atlanta, Georgia, the headquarters of the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. This is Sanford Stadium in Athens, Georgia, where today the University of Georgia Bulldogs take on the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. This meeting between the Jackets and the Dogs, and Ron Rice will kick it off to those two gentlemen, Carney Norris and Keith Montgomery, back on the goal line awaiting Rice's kick. It goes to Montgomery, four yards deep, and he will stay there, and Georgia brings it out. Lastinger at quarterback, McCarthy the fullback, Herschel Walker the tailback, Kevin Harris is at split end, Chuck Jones the flanker, Brown the tight end. Offensive line, Harper, Weaver, Radloff, Gray, and McIntyre. The handoff to the fullback, McCarthy, he goes five yards, there are markers on the play. Diet, who made that tackle, is in there in the front line with Chisholm and big Bobby Hodge. Jones, Wood, Horton, and Swilling are the linebackers for the Jackets. Thurston, Westbrook, Brown, Travis, that's secondary. The Dogs are called for holding moment. Now it is first and 10 as Lastinger brings up the Dogs at the 10-yard line. The handoff to McCarthy. Chris McCarthy up to the 19-yard line. About 82,000 people are here to see the Jackets face the Dogs. Second down and about 11 yards to go. And they swing it out to Herman Archie. He's at the 25 to 26-yard line in the Georgia High School All-Star game this past summer. Here we go, third down situation for the Dogs, and they pitch it out to Herschel Walker. He's caught, and then he gets more yardage and the first down. They send Archie in motion and give it off to the fullback McCarthy. He spins out to the 38-yard line. And finally gets his opportunity and really does well with it. Here come the Dogs on second down. The handoff to Walker. Walker across the 40 to the 41 yard line. He'll be about a yard short of the first. They give to Walker and he's got the first down and he's still up. Herschel Walker at the 45. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> Herschel Walker has just gone 40, 59. eight or nine yards. I had him 10 yards short. He goes 59 for Georgia's first touchdown. Butler kicks the extra point, and with 11.49 left, the Dogs have jumped up top 49 left in the first quarter. To the Jackets, 10 yards deep, and he'll down it there. Jim Bob Taylor back to pass. Taylor looking, now he gets it off and it's completed the 30 yard line to Gary Wilkins. Second down and 10 for Georgia Tech after that apparent pass completion. Now Lavette to the 23 yard line, Robert Lavette. Let's take a look at the Georgia Tech offensive set. Taylor at quarterback, Eddie Fortier and Lavette are the backfield members. Harrington at split in. Keesler and Wilkins is the tight end. Then the interior Gardner, a pro prospect, Kenny Howell, Dean Waters, Mark Schultz, and big David Lutz. Lutz, one of the biggest players in the South at 6'7". More about him in a moment. It is third down and seven yards to go. Jim Bob Taylor out of bounds with the first down. Up Dale Carver at the end, Gilbert at the tackle, the guard, Jackson and Crow, Stan Dooley at the other end, Nate Taylor, Tommy Thurston, Terry Hogue, Ronnie Harris, Flax Sanchez, that secondary that leads the nation in interceptions. First and 10 jackets at the 32-yard line. And they give it to Fortier. He's at the 39-yard line. And uh, we are back to second down and three yards to go for the Jackets. Lavette, and he will be short of the first down almost as they bring a man in motion and hand it to Lavette, the tailback. He looks to me like he has squeaked over for the first down. First and 10, Jackets at the 43. 48, Lavette, the backfield members, and they pitch it out to Lavette. He's across the 45 and across midfield. Pickup of eight yards on. And they give it to Levette, and he met and is tackled at the 40 and the 39-yard line. Ronnie Harris making the stop. A handoff to the fullback, 40A, and he gets three yards. Second down and eight. 
A look into Jim Bob Taylor calling the signals. There's some movement, but the man got back. Taylor on a quick pass out here. His man fell down. And Taylor. Jim Bob Taylor throws it, and it is complete at the 24 and down to the 20 yard line goes Ken Wisinghunt. Hand off to Levette. He slashes to the 15 to the 13. And giving Jim Bob Taylor excellent time to pass. Now they give it to Levette. Levette at the 10 and across the 10 to the 9 yard line. May have been a fumble. Georgia players signaling the 40A and Levette. And they give it to Levette. He's down to the six yard line. Jackets now second down and eight from the Georgia eight yard line. Got the backs in a pro set now. Jim Bob Taylor on the sprint out looking and it's incomplete just overthrown intended for Levette. Really fierce down here on the field. All right. Third down. Jackets at the eight yard line. They put Levette in motion. Taylor looking and it's intercepted by Flack at the goal line. That's Tony Flack at the 10 at the 11. First and 10, Georgia at the 10 yard line. Herschel Walker. Walker across the 15 to the 16 yard line. We got uh, Anthony Flack, number eight, being administered to, and defensive coordinator Bill Lewis explaining what they did right that time. It was a Georgia looking at a third down and one. This drive started on the 10 yard line. Herschel Walker on the pitch out, and he's caught behind the line of scrimmage. Your situations and standing on his own, too, is certainly that. He gets this one away. Westbrook backs up to the 39, takes it there. Jack Westbrook to the 47, the 48, knocked out of bounds. He's got 40A at the fullback position. Robert Levette at the tailback position, and here's the pitch and the sweep. And Levette turns on the speed and goes out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Moving now, driving again, second down and four yards to go. 48, the fullback at the 15, the fullback at the 10, the 9, the 8, the 7. They mark the ball at the 8-yard line. Now 48 again to the 5. That is the end of the first quarter here at Sanford Stadium in Athens, Georgia. The Bulldogs leading the Jackets by the score of seven to nothing. 80,000 on their feet. Pitch out. Robert Levette looked to pass, and then he's caught at the six-yard line. And it is third down and six. Third and six for the touchdown. Jim Bob Taylor looking, looking, looking. Georgia chasing. Taylor in trouble, and he dropped the ball. He dropped the football, and Georgia has it first and 10 at the 28. Well, Billy tried to get in a foot race with Freddie Gilbert, and that's one thing you don't want to do. As a football player, when he was a star at Griffin, give it to Herschel Walker, and he may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage up. Herschel Walker exploding for 59 yards to give the Georgia touchdown early in the uh, early in the game. Now John Lastinger looks. He's got Wisham, and he drops it at the 35. Actually chasing Jim Bob Taylor and causing that fumble a moment ago. John Lastinger keeps the football, goes across the 30 to the 32-yard line. Early second quarter. They're coming to block. Broadway gets it away. Westbrook fair catch at the 27-yard line. Back at his own 30-yard line. And Tech sets up for the return. They send one or two men in after Broadway. Westbrook has it at the 31-yard line. Jack Westbrook, 40. Westbrook, 45, and still up. Westbrook into Georgia territory and down at the yard line. Oh, what a return. By the Jackets are at the Georgia 36-yard line, and there's only a touchdown difference here as the Dogs scored one early. LeVette. Levette squeezes to the 30. It's a foot race, if you'll pardon the pun. Here's Levette, and he gives that move and then goes up and gets the first down. 321 left on the clock. First half. Jim Bob Taylor, quarterback, they're in the I formation. Taylor keeps it. He's got the first down. Ready to go against the Jackets. And they pitch it out to Levette. Markers on the play. Levette cuts back in and is down at the 21-yard line. Georgia Tech. 
Jim Bob Taylor got a split backfield, so watch for the pass. And he looks and fires, and it's dropped at the 17-yard line. Georgia Tech stopping itself more than Georgia stopping them on these drives. 2.28 left in the half. Taylor looking, and it is just out of the reach of Eddie Fortier. The clock ticking. No, it is stopped after the incomplete pass. Jim Bob looking over the middle. Got a man open, overthrows him at the seven. Ron Rice set up for the field goal attempt. As I said, it would be a 37-yarder, a 47-yard attempt marked on the 37-yard line. And let's watch. The kick is up. And the kick is good. Ron Rice from 47 yards out has put Georgia Tech on the scoreboard. Two minutes, 13 seconds left in the first half, and Georgia leading Georgia Tech 7-3. to Go here. Rice's kick will go to Carney Norris, four yards deep, and he'll bring it out. Five-yard line, 10-yard line, racked up at the 12. 207 left in the half. They give it to Herschel Walker, and he's hit behind the line of scrimmage. Walker loses a couple of... Now Lastinger pitches to Herschel Walker. Walker trying to cut outside. Herschel Walker knocked down behind the line of scrimmage. Westbrook is deep for Georgia Tech. He gets it away. Westbrook drifts back to the 39-yard line, takes it there, and is wrapped up at the 38. 47 seconds left in the half. Split backfield, look for Jim Bob Taylor. No, he pitches out to Robert Levette, and Levette is clear at the 45 and out of bounds at around the 47-yard line. It's left in the game, uh, left in the first half, I'm sorry. Robert Levette has 88 yards. Jim Bob Taylor, the quarterback, and he hands off to Levette. Levette, 35-30. 25-yard line goes Robert Lovett left in the first half. Jim Bob Taylor. Taylor looking, and it's intercepted and then dropped by Terry Hogue. High formation, and we've got another penalty. Too much time. Let's look. High formation. Tech's got a couple of men spread out deep to the near side of the screen. Jim Bob Taylor back looking. Jim Bob Taylor in some trouble. And now he throws it complete to Levette at the 14. Levette's still up and knocked out of bounds. They'll say he stepped out of bounds. Let's watch it. Rice, a 30-yard attempt. The kick is up. And the kick is good. And with four seconds left in the first half, the score now, Georgia 7, Georgia Tech 6. Look how close that is when Rice to kick off. He squibs this one and lets it bounce away. And Carney Norris takes it at the 10-yard line. Herschel gets a block for Norris, but then he's nailed at the 24. And that is it for the first half. Georgia leading Georgia Tech by the score of 7-6. We will be back with halftime comments in just a moment. Kevin Butler to kick off to start the second half of play. Georgia leading Georgia Tech 7-6. And he puts this one in and out of the end zone. Now we're back to live action. It is first and 10 from the 20. Jim Bob Taylor back on the first play in the second half. Intercepted and dropped by Tommy Thurston. Uh, I'm, I'm sure the Georgia coaches were not happy with what went on in the first half, and they let them know so. They give it to Robert Lovett on second and 10. Lovett gets four yards to the 24-yard line. A lot of noise here. 82,000 people at Sanford Stadium. Jim Bob Taylor back to pass for the Jackets over the middle complete. And he has dropped short of the first down. Heel back race between Levette and Walker after one half of play. Here's the kick by Ron Rice. Jimmy Harrell at the 17-yard line. Jimmy Harrell down at the 21-yard line. John Lastinger on the keeper gets up to the 25-yard line. Tech in Georgia for bragging rights in the state. Herschel Walker to the 32-yard line. Herschel Walker, third on the career rushing ladder of the NCAA. Third down, less than a yard, and they give it to Herschel, and he may have been stopped. Walker may have been stopped short of the first down. Or fourth down, less than a yard. Fourth down. They give it to Walker. He's got the first down to the 34. 
at the 34-yard line on that fourth and inches. Here's the pass, and it is complete to Kevin Harris. Or, and he's down at the 45-yard line to Kevin Harris. Georgia moving on Georgia Tech now. Dogs first possession, they pitch it out to Walker. Herschel Walker looks for the corner. Now he's at the 37-yard line before Tech. Walker, Herschel Walker. Walker across the 30 to the 29-yard line. Kevin Harris in motion to the near side, and they give it to the fullback, Chris McCarthy. McCarthy down to the 25-yard line. This one's a big one. I think they realized a lot of things at halftime. Second down and six yards to go. Herschel Walker, 25. Walker takes the man and now out of bounds around the 24 or 23-yard line. Walker at the tailback, and now they give it to Walker, and he's going to be short of the first down. Walker short of the first down on a 39-yard field goal attempt. Butler kicking Jim Broadway the holder. The kick is up. And the kick is good. Kevin Butler has just kicked Georgia three more points. And with eight minutes and 43 seconds left third quarter, the Dogs are leading the Jackets by the score of 10 to 6. Georgia now with the football late in the third quarter. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. Lastinger's gone all the way at quarterback. John Lastinger looking deep for Herman Archie, and he's got him at the 10, the 5, touchdown. A 63-yard ball to attempt the extra point, and the kick is up, and the kick is good. Four minutes, four seconds are left. Georgia leading 17 to six. He's been a big play man for Georgia all season. Butler's kick. Pounds will take it at the four. Cleve Pounds at the four, got a block, and now he's across the 20 and up to the 24 yard line. Three minutes and 57 seconds left in the third quarter. Jim Bob Taylor looking. Throws over the middle and it's caught at the 40 yard line goes Mike Harrington. First and 10 at the 41 yard line. The Jackets have three minutes and 34 seconds left to pitch out. And Terry Hogue is right on top. Second down 15. Levet now with 137 yards. Jim Bob Taylor looking and it is incomplete over on the near sideline. Out of bounds. Taylor looking all the way to the backside out with a tight end. Perfect catch, perfect throw. I'm sure some of the tech people are wondering about that one. Big play with Georgia on top, 17 to six. Tech needs to keep the drive alive. Fumble on the play, Georgia has recovered at the 34 yard line. Kevin Jackson, number 71, found the loose football and there he was. If they would, uh, get moving here let's see what Georgia can do Herschel Walker Herschel Walker 25 15 Walker out of bounds inside the five-yard line they're now in that power eye formation as they use frequently in goal line situations Walker up but short and looking to get more and they give it to Walker and he burrows in touchdown Herschel Walker stayed on the ground and goes in the yard for the touchdown. Three big plays have turned it all, all Georgia's way. Kick is up and the kick is good. A minute 52 left on the clock and Georgia leads Georgia Tech by the score of 24 to 6. Here's Butler's kickoff. Cleve Pounds takes it at the three. Pounds at the 15 and up to the 25 yard line. Jim Bob Taylor gone all the way at quarterback. Stu Rogers is the man that would back him up. They give it to Levette and he explodes for eight yards. Levette's had his hands on the ball more. And they give it to the fullback. He's got the first down, 40A, stopped by Nate Taylor. All right, 56 seconds, 55 seconds. 
Georgia Tech first and 10. Jim Bob Taylor straight back. Taylor is going to be brought down at the 42-yard line. Now it is second down and six yards to go. Georgia Tech sends a man in motion. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. And it is almost intercepted by Sanchez and then bounced into Terry Holt's hand. And Georgia leading 24 to 6. Trying, or rather, Herschel Walker still in at tailback, and they give it to Chris McCarthy, the fullback, and he's down to the 36 yard line. Here's a reverse to Tron Jackson. Jackson may go. Tron Jackson touchdown. The electron bomb. The bomb has just exploded. Excitement. That's why they call him the Electron Bomb. 36 yards he went for the touchdown. Kevin Butler kicks it through. And now early in the quarter, it is Georgia 31, Georgia Tech 6. A year's worth of highlight film right here. Kevin Butler kicks it away. Oh, he put the foot into this one. Pounds backs up eight yards deep, and there he will stay. First and 10 for the Jackets now, and they're going to have to come out passing that football now, 31 to 6. But they give it to Robert Levette, and he turns on the speed and is up to the 28-yard line. 13-50. <laughs> Second and two, Buck. Here we go. Jim Bob Taylor back, and he's got a man deep. Now he throws across the middle. Complete it is to Glenn Etheridge, and he's down with a first down. Checking the eye formation. Got a man in motion now, and they give it to Robert Levette, and they string him out, and now he's across the 50 down to the 48-yard line. Levette has 159 yards for the day. Here's the pass over the middle, and it is complete this time to Keith Blanton. With 12 minutes and 20 seconds left, now he fakes in, and Taylor looks, and it's intercepted by Terry Hogue. Terry Hogue has just intercepted his 12th pass. Now at the 23-yard line after the Hogue interception, and Herschel Walker goes across the 25-yard line. With the two interceptions now, Buck, uh, Lastinger is going back to pass and looking, and it is intercepted. Texman intercepts it and fumbles the football. Let's see if it's still a live football. They may call him out of bounds. By Mooney has the football at the 26-yard line. Stu Rogers into the football game at quarterback. Hands off to Robert Levette, and he squeezes through for nine more yards. 32 carries for Robert. Second down, two yards to go. They give it to Levette, and he's open and still up and down now at the seven-yard line. First and goal at the seven. Tech's been here before, only to have a turnover. Hurt him. Now they give it to Levette, and he gets the yard to the six. He's carried the football an awful lot and very well. They give it to him. He doesn't look tired there. Touchdown! Robert Levette finds the seam and goes through for the touchdown. Great effort, Buck. Levette, the two-point conversion. It is 31-12 right now. He must be tired, but we saw what he did a moment ago, just as we said he was a little bit tired. Now they fake it in to Levette in the middle. Rogers looking and complete in the end zone. And the score is Georgia 31, Georgia Tech 12. And five yards to go. Rogers looking over here. He's got his man, and he's loose. Daryl Norton, number one. He, he may go. Norton brought down from behind by Daryl Jones at the 22-yard line. Jackets looking to put some more points up on the board. A handoff to Fortier, the fullback, and he cracks across the 20 down to the 18-yard line. The board is otherwise they might have. Here's Rogers. And he's got his man, Levette, at the 10. Levette down to the five, down to the four-yard line goes Robert Levette. 
Georgia fans on that end of the field in the horseshoe starting to stand up. And they give it to LeVette, and he squeaks down to the one-yard line. They give it to 48, the fullback, and let's see. Did he score or did he not? Georgia may have recovered the football. There's a discussion. Looks like they're going to mark it just a couple of inches away. Rogers barking out the signals. Now he gives it to Lavette. He sprints in for the touchdown. Robert Lavette goes in from the one for the touchdown. Rogers sends a man in motion, pitches it out to Robert Lavette. Lavette is going to be short and fumbled out of bounds. Georgia leads Georgia Tech by the score of 31 18. Hard line. Second down and six. Let's see what Georgia comes up with. And they hand it to Carney Norris, and he's across the 15 down to the 13-yard line. The electron bomb, Tron Jackson, is in the football game. And they pitch it out to Jackson. Jackson is up. Jackson is going to score. Tron Jackson. 17 seconds left, and Kevin Butler sticks it up. Good. And Georgia now with a 20-point lead on Georgia Tech with 17 seconds to go. It's the Bulldogs, 38, Georgia Tech, 18. And has scored four touchdowns. Butler kicks it, and Cleve Pounds is going to let it bounce out of the end zone. Georgia Tech with 17 seconds left and 80 yards to go. Stu Rogers is the quarterback. He swings it out here complete. That's number 28, Glanton, Keith Glanton of Georgia Tech. Eight seconds left. No timeouts left for Georgia Tech. Five, four. Georgia has just finished another unbeaten season. 11-0 as Georgia beats Georgia Tech by the score of 38 to 18. We will be back with a wrap-up right after this.